and it's been pouring all day. I hear a pit bike out there. I can't imagine who would be out riding in this. Of course. Who else would it be? Nobody but Billy. This morning, printing freaking DOT numbers. Anybody watch yesterday's video? Ridiculous. Billy got us pulled over by the popo. You taking a nap, Billy? Yeah. Billy's in my office taking a nap. We're still a day behind. We're gonna be a day behind till the cows come home. Yeah, it's never gonna end. We're never gonna get caught up. It's like frickin' springtime mowing all over again. Time to wake up. To a lot of people yesterday were like, yay, Conrad. Conrad was back in the video. A bunch of people messaged me and says, he working for you again? No, he's not. Conrad now works for my buddy Josh, who I sub some of them other apartment complexes out to. And Big Mike, the guy Mike that was in the video, that's the foreman. Another good friend of ours. So. That's who Conrad works for now. Um, a lot of other people asked as well, is Conrad going to GIE? Yes, Conrad's going to GIE, Max will be there. Who do you know that's gonna be? Max will be there, Conrad will be there, I'll be there obviously, Billy will be there. Mike's gonna go this year, I believe. We're trying to make that happen. Um, yeah, so that's the deal. I don't know, I still gotta get a rental car. Max is going too, he's bringing his new wife. There's too many of us. I got to get a rental car. I think Max is driving his car, but I'm going to get a rental car for me, Billy, Conrad, and probably Mike. The Airbnb is already booked. We have an entire house again. Billy's on his phone. Are you watching TikTok? Yeah. Um, it's one of the weeks. I mean, people are just... What is in the water? Like, it's just... I don't know. I'm trying to do bids. Josh and I are doing bids for all the snow plowing for all these huge apartment complexes. And it's so weird the way you got to do it. Everything has to be its own separate. So, you know, for instance, the one property has one, two, three buildings on it. And even though you service the whole thing, each building is listed as its own separate entity. So everything has to be separate. So you come up with a total price for that. So they asked me for the bids and snow plowing. Josh and I put together all of our bids for the apartment complexes. He's going to be, I mow two of them. Josh mows one of them. Um, but the way it's going to be is that he is going to plow one and I'm going to plow one. And the other one is actually being plowed by somebody else. This phone this morning already. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Definitely don't care. No. Just no. And so on top of all of that, they're like emailing me like, this is what we need, just give us these numbers like this. Just send the numbers. They're like, we have to have it now because we got to turn certain things in. It has to be, some of it's like state funding, has to be turned to state, do all that. They're like, we have to have it by this day. I turn in by that day. A couple days later, well, we actually need you to break it down like this. And this is the amount we budgeted for this building and that building. So we need you to do the bid laid out for the other building. I'm like, okay, so easy. I gave you my total price. It would be the balance. If that's how, that's how you want to break it down, it would be the balance. And yeah, no, 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 no. Why? No. Just... Can you retype them all and send them? I sent them all again. I did. I sent them this morning. I did. And the, on top of it, I still have people, I talked about this in yesterday's video, but it didn't record because my camera was screwed up because why would it work? I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of dollars on cameras, why would they work? But I talked about this in yesterday's video and it just didn't work, didn't record, so you guys didn't hear it. But the title of yesterday's video was going to be about things that long care channels don't talk about. Let's talk about them. 
Let's talk about how people blow up my phone because they're like, you screwed up my bill. My bill's all wrong. There's five cuts in here. Oh my goodness. You do know there's only four weeks in a month, right? What? What? Cell phones, modern day cell phones. You know what every one of these things has? A freaking calendar. They have calendars. Billy, does your phone have a calendar? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Billy's phone has a calendar. You know, I mean, it's an iPhone, so, you know, it's low quality, but it has a camera, or it has a freaking calendar on it. Everybody's got a calendar. Everywhere in the world, there are calendars all over the place. So, you know, I'm insanely busy and don't have time to freaking sit here and write this all out and not enough cramps. Really? Not. No, no, no. Not enough crayons to spell this out for everybody, but the fact of the matter is, I email these customers back and I'm like, okay, you are a Tuesday long. There were five Mondays, five Tuesdays, five Wednesdays in the month of August. That's why there's five on your bill. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, you were right. I'm, I'm sorry. I'll pay it. I'll get the check in the mail. Too. Okay, great. Fine. Perfect. Thank you. Hour later. I looked at the calendar and, you know, I thought I was wrong. And then I thought I was right. But then I realized I was looking at the wrong month. Okay. Okay. We, we've already established this. We've done this. You know what I'm going to tell them? And some of them, they got a bill and their bill is so high. And they're like, why is my bill so high? I don't understand. I mean, it's insanely high. You know what I don't understand? I don't understand why you didn't pay your bill for July. Pay your bill for July. That's why your bill is so high because you did not pay July. And then I just sent you August and I take July into August because you didn't pay July. Pay the bill. Pay the bill. Pay the bill. No. No, Billy. What? They won't pay the bill. I understand the landscape company is always the last one on everybody's priority list. I get it. I have stuff to pay too. Pay the bill. Like people literally, like I sent people these huge bills this month. Because there was so much not paid last month. You know what they did? Why is my bill so high? I don't know. This It shouldn't be like this. Something went wrong. I'm like, it didn't go wrong. People owe me like $30,000. $30,000. Okay? That's a lot of money for people. You owe me $30,000. Not 20. It's two. It's 2000 it's two thousand dollar difference, roughly. Okay, twenty. Do the math. Who is? Good morning, Michael Stana. I'll answer yours. What are you doing? I know what you're doing. I just got off my conference call a little while ago, as you were calling your boss, and he said, "Michael's calling me. I have to let you go." And I said, "Okay." He says he's going to be mad at me because I'm sending him out mowing. And I was like, that's a dick move. Why don't you at least wait till the rain's going to stop? It's going to stop in like an hour. He's like, eh, they're going mowing. Have fun, sweetheart. Pay the bill. Why don't they pay the bill? I don't want to pay the bill. I don't want to pay the bill. So, you know, Billy, we're eating ramen noodles for the rest of the month. We're poor. We're poor now. Are you good with that? Yeah. I'm good with that. We're poor. Pay your bill. Pay it. Just pay it. I'm done. DOT numbers printed. Get them put on the trucks. One day this week. Uh, we're not doing it right now. I don't want to do it right now. I don't feel like doing it right now. We probably could do it right now. Let's go mow something. Well, you're not all muddy, which means you didn't crash off the bike. Your boots are soaked, so you found a puddle somewhere. Oh, there's mud all over the back of the bike. Did you dump it at all? You are nope. soaked, Billy. Your bike is covered. The engine is covered in mud and water. Ah, and then here's my bike. Nice and clean. Oh, man. Actually, it's not really clean at all. My Supermoto tires are a little dirty yeah that's it uh, my underglow my red underglow lights are clean headlights clean my bike's pretty clean billy's bike is a mess billy 
You want to go ride the trails with my supermoto tires? Yeah, I actually do. Look at it smoking. Yeah, because all the water and mud on that hot engine. We were out riding the other day, and this bike barely saw the ground at all. I was jumping, launching, everything I could. Billy comes up next to me, and he goes, What would you say, Billy? Oh, it's like, Pops, I'm just going to say it. Just going to say it. You have some huge balls. <laughs> You, you wouldn't do what I do on that bike with them tires? It's a good time. What are you doing? Might be a little risky because my tires are wet, but... Full <laughs> send for the boys back home. I don't know, why don't you put your helmet on before you get too stupid. Nice, Billy. Real nice. All right, so anyway, the point of this video is everybody's been looking for an update. Billy, you left your electronic wheelchair in the middle of the floor again. There's Billy's other bike. It's a Honda 85R Big Wheel Kit two-stroke. This thing is disgustingly fast. Anyway, so everybody's been looking for an update on this Ferris, and now that we've had it for a little while, what are my thoughts? My thoughts are I should have walked away from it. Um, it is a phenomenal cutting mower and it is very comfortable now because we spent $850 and put a full suspension seat on it. But that being said, since we bought it, what have we done? We've had to plug a tire. We had to put the power chute on the side. We had to put the suspension seat on it. Um, we had to fix a tire over on this side. Um, we had to take care of the hydro units because they were way overfilled and they kept boiling over. Uh, making a mess underneath there, sliming belts, making a belt jump off, fix that. The main bushing that runs through this bolt that goes through the frame that allows this front end to move and pivot a little bit is shot. So this thing slams back and forth. That's a problem. Um, we've had to replace two safety switches on it now because... They couldn't be overridden. One we were able to override. The other one had to replace. Um, what else we have to do? We had to, we've had we been greasing the crap out of all the spindles. One of them is on its last leg. It just hasn't been greased correctly. And it's shot. And we're just putting grease in it now, just keeping it going. But the fact is that it's, it's shot. And it needs replaced. Um, one of the tensioner spindle or pulleys needs replaced. The bearings are shot. In another one, um, I might be able to press it out, put a new bearing in there. The deck was way off and the chains were loose on it and somebody mowed with it for so freaking long like that, they pretty much egg shelled out the mount that holds the chain. That has to be replaced. Um, I said when I first got this thing that I smelled um, fuel in the oil, which told me the valve seals were probably shot and was allowing oil or raw fuel to pass through dump into the oil coming out the exhaust found that out the other day we haven't ridden this in a few days because billy come around the house he goes dad there's literally like solid flame coming out of the exhaust as it just sits there and runs it's not sparking not blowing sparks literally flame like a blowtorch and it's steady which tells me there's fuel and there's oil getting into the exhaust side which means the top half is going to have to be fixed i'm gonna have to pull the valve covers off on both sides Pull the valves out. Probably be easier to just pull the heads off. That's usually the easiest way to do it. That's the easiest way I've ever done it. Replace the valve seals and the valve guides. That is going to have to be done now. Um, we did use it a couple lawns after that until we got back here to switch out for another mower. Um, and it seemed to be fine. It wasn't doing it anymore, but it's just that chance it's going to do it again. And this thing's going to go up in flames. We did adjust the shocks on it um, so that it has a better ride. One of them keeps hopping out of adjustment because that, again, was not taken care of. Eggshell screwed up. Had to replace the ignition switch in it. That took a crap. We had to replace the battery. There was a dead cell in the battery. Um, the blades, we had to replace the blades. Somebody hit something so freaking hard, they bent the tip of one down at almost a 90. Couldn't figure out why it was cutting uneven. I thought the deck was still off, and then I thought it was because one of the tires kept leaking air and it was dipping it down. No, it was the blade, which also happens to be on the same side that the spindle's taking a crap, which tells me they jarred something so freaking hard with it that they about to damage. 
So at the end of the day, was it worth the 1500 bucks I put into it? Eh, give or take, might be. Um, once I get everything fixed on it, I, it'll definitely make its money back. That's not a problem. So I guess it wasn't a horrible purchase, but in hindsight, I guess I should have went through it a little better before I said, yeah, I'll just buy it. And so, yeah, that's the condition of this. Um, I don't think it was so much the church's fault, the condition of this machine, because they had one guy running it. He really, you know, he doesn't work on these all the time. He doesn't drive commercial mowers all the time. So, you know, he just mowed the church. That's what he did. It's more the company they used to service this thing all the time. And the fact of the matter is the church paid for services to be done. They were charged for it. It was on the bill. And in fact, the stuff was never done. Like one of the, I'll give you the, the most simple thing. They said they greased it every time. Half the grease fittings I had to replace them. Take them out and heat up the end. Let the grease liquefy, run out because it was hardened up and so chunked up because it hadn't had fresh grease in so long. Let it melt out of there and then start pumping fresh grease through it again. Put new grease fittings. So basic stuff like that. But there's so many other things they were charged for that were clearly never done to this machine. So at the end of the day, was it worth it? I don't know. I just don't know. Maybe I'll just fix everything on it and turn around and sell it for more than what I paid for it. And including the price of everything that I put into it and try to make some kind of money back out of it. Or I, I'll definitely make my money back out of it, but try to make more. I don't know. Billy. Where's the tip for the hose? Well, Uncle Charlie took it yesterday to go do those gutters. And I don't know what he did with the hose that he took along with it so if it's not in the back of my truck he may have left it at that house and i hope he did not um i can text him real quick and find out billy took his stand out there for his bike put the bike up on the stand and he has the hose out there all right well i don't know so now today is wednesday we were planning on starting tuesday's list today tomorrow is wednesday or tomorrow is thursday and we'll be starting tuesday's list on thursday we are probably going to mow all weekend. I have no idea how we're ever going to get caught up. And I think after today, there's no more rain until next week, but then it's supposed to rain Monday and Tuesday next week. So I don't know. Look at my line. We'll go from here. Next time we can mow, we will uh, we'll film. But you guys wanted an update, so I figured that's today's video. There's the update on the fares. Look at my straight line. Billy is soaked all the way up to his man parts. You're covered in mud. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, you're covered in mud. You ain't sitting in my truck with that sweatshirt on. There's 50 other sweatshirts in the break room. Find a new one. Look at these fancy countryside strong beer koozies I made. And before anybody asks in the comments, no. I only made these for our friend group that we always hang out with and have bonfires with and stuff. That's who I made them for. I'm not going to make... I'm not going to make these to give away or sell or anything like that. This is this is the only run of them I'm doing and that's that.